here we are in the next installment of the, the latest sow's ear, continuing directly from the last episode. I've extended all of the fell seams, hand sewn, from the new bottom uh, of, the, of the seam all the way to the top, as I'd said. Now I've reached the point where ordinarily I'd be carrying on as though this was new construction, but the complication I've got is there's these four errors here. And this error, well, it's a combination of things. I have this thing, um, which it looks like whoever was, whoever was making this thing loved his sewing machine because he, when he put the, I think this is the lower strap and the lower buckle, because there's like eight passes of the sewing machine back and forth at over 12 stitches per inch. And it's super tiny and it's super hard to see. His thread choice was a genius because it's really hard to see against this cloth. So this isn't, I can feel, the uh, trouble is I can feel all of these, right? These three are going to be buried in the work because, again, I've robbed two pleats from this side, one pleat from the other to create an odd number of pleats. But I can't bear, uh, the, third, uh, the third flaw is here. And this is, I haven't actually, see the cloth is a bit nicked here and I'm totally responsible for that. But this has a tiny bit of damage to the cloth, but... I can't even see the, it, there's a, this, this thread's been passed like a dozen times or so before sewing and I can't even see it, but I can, I can't see the individual threads, but I can feel it. So I, I'm probably going to have to cut a tiny little hole there and do an extremely neat patch because although this is on the inside apron and it's not going to be visible to, to the observer, the owner and I are both going to know what's there and the owner's going to be able to feel it every time they put on the kilt. So we can't have that. I can't bury these three, three because the front measure or the inside apron is 16 inches on the inside apron is 16 inches at the waist and 17 inches of the hip. The front is going to be 15 and 16, but I add, I, I add an inch um, on the inside apron now too, so that when the strap is in place and the buckle is here that it's not digging into the person's skin that's quite uncomfortable so I, I add an inch on the inside apron but so I can't do it at the end right I can't do that because the the inside hidden pleat is just ridiculously deep it'll just be too bulky I don't think it'd be comfortable either so I have to center on this element of the tartan and this is the outside sorry the left edge of the right edge of the pleat I think I'd learn my right and left by now so those three flaws, three of those flaws are hidden, but I can still feel them. So what I'm going to do, this one's visible, but these three are hidden, but I can feel them. <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do, what I'm going to have to do, really, is work with a magnifying glass, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> and a pin or a small needle and a razor blade where I... And, you can't actually see it because it's too small. I can't even see it like this. But where, and I'm mocking this up, but where I slip the needle under the thread I want to cut. And not this thread, this is the cloth itself. But I think I've just invented a new procedure, which millions of people have already done before me. But I've just, this just occurred to me. Slipping a needle underneath the thread, and there are the actual threads, to protect the cloth. And then using a razor blade to sever those. And goodness how long it's going to take, but it has to be done. Um, again, there's a bit of a hole there, but so I'm going to have to repair that, all th repair that one and repair that as neatly as can be. So at the end of the day, we have one visible, but very well done repair. And then three others that he's not going to be able to feel every time he puts on the darn kilt. So I have no idea how long this is going to take me. I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. So once that's done... And this is sewn up, then I can get back to the normal sequence of construction where I thin out the back, I steak, I put in the canvas, and all the rest of that you've seen elsewhere. So so there we know. We know what I'm doing with my spare time for the foreseeable future. Thank you.